All right, so the last uh, the last clip that I tried uh, shooting wasn't going too well and didn't record, so I've already cut out the leather. But what I sh what I told you in that clip is to cut out your leather using the template, I or pattern using the pattern. But I put the pattern on this poster card, right? So it's pretty thick. So I could easily just take a stylus and then embezzle a little line around the outside of the pattern. And then I cut it out with my rotary tool. But now comes the fun part. Oh, you could also see that I chipped off a part of my pattern. That's not good. Anyway, um, so now would be taking your pattern, putting it down. I'm using wax paper because when we transfer it to the leather, um, oh, I need to go find tape. I will be right back. Alright, so I taped it. I taped the wax paper with the pattern underneath so it doesn't move around as much. And all I'm going to do is just take the Sharpie and then outline it. Uh, I'm not going to be worrying about making it that bold because afterwards I'm going to take this stylus and wet the leather. That's why I'm using wax paper so it doesn't get all gross and soggy, I guess. But, uh, what was I saying? Anyway, you take, you wet the leather, and then you put the pattern, put the drawing over the leather, and then you just carefully outline it. Anyway, I'm gonna go do the Sharpie bit, and then we'll be right back. Alright, so I, um did what I was doing, traced it, I'm, I'm messing with the tripod right now, traced it, uh, very shakily, mind you, but nonetheless, I traced it, then we can remove it, So now we have, sorry if I'm kicking the camera, now we have a wax paper template of where we need to make little marks on the leather with. But before we do that, I'm going to make it easier for myself and use an edge beveler, not edge beveler, uh, seam liner, seam creaser, whatever you want to call it makes a seam line, a stitch line. Stitch line groover. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I'm going to measure the little border and then I'm going to put a seam line in the leather so I don't have to put the border line on the leather first. And then I could use the border line as kind of a placement to, or where to put this. Anyway, let me go do that, and I will be back. I guess I might as well just show you how, oh, this is the first piece um, that I was going to use. It's slightly smaller. I think this is a 6 ounce, while this one is a 9 ounce. You can see the thickness difference. Anyway, uh, I might want to just show you how to do this. So for this, it has a little razor blade right at the tip. Focus. Anyway, uh, you can... Anyway, so what you do is you take it and then just draw it. 
keeping the edge keeping it on the edge and then you come out with a little groove look at that and then you do that all the way around for the sides it kind of kind of have to do the sides you kind of have to not connect them first because you don't really know how I'm not sure how to say that if you haven't already. And there you have a perfectly symmetrical stitch groove line border, whatever you want to call it. that it's okay you hear my stomach growling anyway so if I we did this properly we could use that line as a guide on where to place uh, the whole piece and then we can wet the leather Look at that. I'm going to move all this stuff up. I'm going to let, uh, wet it pretty good too. That should be good. And then we're not going to do anything yet. What we want is for all that water to kind of soak down into the grain of the leather. Uh, so, you kind of want it back to normal shade, but the inside still wet. I will come back when that is done. We're going to take the little um, take the little I'm trying to say, uh, well, anything pokey, I guess. And what I kind of want to do first is do what we did with uh, the wax paper and the pattern piece. I'm going to tape it to the actual table so it doesn't move around that much. My voice cracked. Anyway. Um, I'll line it up pretty good first. I'm going to try our hardest to tape it um, tight. So it doesn't really move around, you know. Anyway. I don't know who's going to be watching this, but uh, how you doing? I hope you're doing good. How's life been? It's been crazy for me, man. Like the whole world has gone nuts. Beautiful. Alright, so, um, we're just going to take our stitch. I keep on forgetting what this is. I don't want to say it's an awl because there's like a little bead of something on the tip of it. So, anyway. And then we're just going to trace. Not the border. And trace this. It doesn't have to be too deep. The leather's gonna take uh, take it pretty well. You know, it's 
I'm not gonna be mad at you. Try our hardest to keep our lines straight, even though most of it's gonna be uh, beveled in. And you have to be mindful if you're doing knot work like this too, like what line goes underneath and everything. That's another reason why I use wax paper too. It's because it's really sturdy. And you're not, since I'm using such a sharp uh, tool, I guess, I would be cutting normal paper. Just slicing right through it. Up there. Okay, I will pause this, change the batteries, and then show you when it's done. Alright, I keep on stepping away from the camera, but I have not changed the, the batteries on the camera yet because I got too excited. Because look at that. It took super well. That looks dope. Anyway. Oh, what I'm making? I haven't even told you yet. It's a hair slide. For, like, hair. So you could stick a... A stick. <laughs> you, could, <laughs> you could stick a stick through this hole and out this hole under your hair, you know. Like a leather hair slide. Let's go like that. Anyway, um, I'm going to wet the leather again and wait for that to dry and then move on to the next step. I'm also going to change the batteries then too. But I'm going to move on to the next step, which is I'm taking my swivel knife and cutting all those deeper than what they are right now. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll move on to the next step, and I will see you in a bit. Sorry for all these, like, short, uh, little clips, but I'm trying to get, or keep the, the size of the file down, because I really don't like editing and stuff. Anyway, um, just makes it easier for editing. You know what I'm saying? Probably gonna smoke some more, too. See you in a bit. Alright, I still have not changed the batteries. I think it should be fine for a little bit. Anyway. So, all I'm doing is, I'm gonna strap my blade first. Which is just to keep it sharp. I want as sharp as possible blade to cut my leather. Anyway, so can you see? You can. Hello. So all I'm gonna do is just take my swivel and draw it. Very carefully. Try 
just like that. And all it really does is just deepen your already existing line. And you can do that all the way around as well as the dragon or serpent. What is a dragon without wings? Just a serpent, right? I guess it would be a lizard. Yeah, because of the Komodo dragon. deep line. So I'm going to do that all the way around. Anyway, I'm not going to have you watch that part. And see you after that's done.